Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel today. Well, I just want to say that as quickly as it's been and started, the Book of Boba Fett has finally finished after what seems to be a very, very short seven week run. Yeah, it seems like not that long ago that we just started the show and now it's done. And it's been, frankly, one of the best Star Wars shows that I've seen on Disney Plus so far. I'll be honest, going into The Mandalorian when I found that Boba Fett was in it, I didn't really care. Now hear me out. Yeah, I know in the Legends continuity he was completely and utterly nuts. He was an amazing character, but when that all got wiped out in 2012, Boba Fett was just back to a character who stood around and said nothing for like two scenes in three scenes in two films. And just died. That was it. And honestly, going into The Mandalorian when I found out he was back, I wasn't all that bothered. However, by the end of the season two of The Mandalorian, I was very much bothered. I kind of gained a lot of respect for that character. And when I found out he was going to get his own solo show at the end of the final episode, I was pretty pumped. And coming into this... I was not disappointed at all. It's been an absolutely amazing show. So, well, I say so far, it's over. It's been absolutely brilliant. Definitely some of Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni's best work. Um, they have made a lot of... Well, they have brought back a lot of backstory for Boba and made a lot of new backstory, mainly the Tuscans, and, of course, all the cameos they've rammed in throughout the series. How many cameo cameos could they fit into one show? Apparently a lot, because I think I, in the end, counted about six or seven. Because there was a lot, as we all know. And honestly, I loved it. I'm really going to miss this show, I'm going to be honest. I hope it gets a season two, although, considering the ending, I doubt it. It doesn't seem likely to be getting a second season. But if it does... I'm all for it, because I do want to see what he does next. But yeah, honestly, I can't wait for the next Marvel for the next Marvel show, which is Moon Knight, coming out at the end of March. So got a long wait. But for us Star Trek fans, Star Trek Discovery is returning today in the U.S. Or if you're in the rest of the world, such as me, tomorrow on Pluto TV or wherever it's being shown in your country, because I know a couple of countries have a couple of other different methods of watching Discovery, so, again, whatever you're watching it on before Christmas, it'll be on there again, and same goes for Pluto TV, it'll be returning tomorrow at 9pm, but honestly, I'm just kind of sad that the show has come to an end so fast, because it doesn't seem like five minutes ago that we started the show, and it's over, um, but of course, the next show coming up in the Star Wars realm, is rumoured to be Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I'm very excited about that. Because that'll give us tons of clone content. Like, I miss the clones so much. I really want the Bad Batch to come out soon as well. But I know it probably won't come out until after Kenobi. And we do know that the Obi-Wan Kenobi show is only six episodes. That is it. We we ain't getting a season two, so I can't really wait to see how that goes. And the rumoured release date is, surprise, surprise, May the 4th. But you never know, that could be completely wrong. But you never know. But it's going to be coming out soon. I think it's going to be out this side of summer, so it's going to be in the next couple of months. And I can't wait because it's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Who doesn't love him? Who doesn't love the clones? Because we know we're getting Clone Wars flashbacks. Yeah, Book of Boba Fett, if you haven't watched it already, would recommend I will be giving a full overview of the final episode on my stream this Sunday. And yeah, that's going to have to do it for this video on the Book of Boba Fett and how sad I am that it's coming to an end so quick. So, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my Roxanne's and Frost's channels, that links are in the description, my sub button is down there. Yeah, that big red one, unless you've already subbed, then it's great. Like that, by the way. And once you've done that, don't forget to click all three of our bell icons to get all three sets of our notifications. 
I might as well, because why not? And let me know what you thought of this, frankly, amazing show. Once you know that, so don't forget to follow me on my social medias. They'll be in the link tree in the description. Don't forget, as well, to follow Roxanne on her blog and Frost on his Instagram. Thanks for also in the description below my link tree. And lastly, of course, don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye!